Everyone wants to start their Minecraft survival world or their Minecraft SMP with the best seed possible that's perfect for them and their needs. But there are so many possible seed combinations. How can you even get close? I'm going to show you ways of getting the best seed you can fast. Don't you go anywhere. Hello everyone! Do you want the best seed you can possibly get? Of course you do, but what you think is the best possible seed might not be someone else's best possible seed. They might have a very different view on it. You might love this stunning mountain range surrounded by forests, littered with caves, with a village right at the end of the valley. It might be a tiny mushroom island in the middle of a huge ocean surrounded by forests, icebergs, with a monument right next door. Or maybe you just love the simplicity of a winding river with plains, forests, hills and meadows on either side. But Minecraft has got over 18 quadrillion different seed combinations. That's an 18 followed by 18 zeros. If you checked one seed every second, it would take you nearly 571 billion years to get through all of them. So how are you going to find the best one for you? Well, I'm going to show you four different ways that you can find the perfect seed for your Minecraft survival world. Starting with a really simple one that you probably do every single time you start up a new Minecraft world. And that is to pray to the gods of luck. Open up Minecraft the way Mojang intended, start a new world and wait for it to load up. Take a look around, think of what it can offer you, and if necessary, start again until you hit jackpot and pray that you aren't sat in that chair for longer than the age of the known universe. Yeah, I know, 571 billion years, right? But you might get lucky. Stunning seeds get found at random all the time. But the reality is, this is a bit hit and miss, so maybe there is a better way. And there is! And that is going to YouTube and searching through the thousands of best Minecraft seed videos for both Bedrock and Java for the one that is going to suit you perfectly. I've done a few of those myself, just saying. Links are in the description. But the problem with that is, of course, you only get to see the bits that appear in the video. And that might miss out something that's really important to you like a specific biome or a structure that you want to explore. Although, still go and watch mine. That said, seed videos do give you the opportunity to go and explore yourself if they tell you what the actual seed number is. Which mine do, again, just saying. So what about another way? Well, that brings us to option three. And that is a mapping tool. And there are a number of different ones that you can use. But one of the best you can use is Chunkbase. Now, it's important to note that I'm not sponsored by Chunkbase. This is just my opinion. And that's because it's so easy to use. Come to chunkbase.com and then click on apps right at the top there. At the bottom you'll see this is the seed map app we're after. So click on seed map app. Now Chunkbase is driven by advertisements. So you do need to put up with them a little bit. But that's fine. You can just ignore them. Scroll yourself down and you'll find this seed map here. What I recommend is you deselect everything except for the biomes at the top. You can always reselect them when you want to know where they are. And once you've deselected all but the biomes, click over the map and just scroll out until you've got as wide a map as you want. I normally look at around about 5,000, so you can see it goes to minus 5,000, plus 5,000, which means you get about 3,000 on the Z value as well. And you get a big old map selection there. You can scroll over where your arrow is and it tells you what the chunks are, what the biome is, what the XZ coordinate is. It's a really easy way to be able to read the map. And you can look at that map to see whether or not it has got potential. If you want to see whether or not there are any villages close by, just click on villages and it shows you with a little villager's head where all the villages are. Look, there's loads of them. Get rid of it as well. If you want to know where the strongholds are, you can see where the strongholds with a little eye of ender like that. You can find out all your structures that way. But if that seed's not for you, hit this random button right here. That will give you a brand new map still in the same size and you can decide whether you like that one. Don't like that one? Hit random again. Gives you a brand new map and you can decide, oh look, we've got a massive mushroom biome here. That's quite useful. And we've got a huge mesa right next to it. That could be a great seed. Let's go and have a look at it. Copy the seed number that it's given you and put that into a brand new Minecraft world. In your Create New World screen, give the world a name. I'm going to give it the seed number, then I'm going to find it. Then go to more world options and place in this box the seed number that you've copied across from Chunkbase. Then click create new world. And you will find yourself at the spawn point for that seed. 
You can then use mouse over on chunk base to find the coordinates that you find interesting. So I've got minus 311, 973, and you can make your way over to that area of the map just to check that it's all you hoped and dreamed it could be. But there is a way that you can generate a seed that is guaranteed to have the things nearby, not just a random one. Let me show you. And that's by using an online tool called Cedar. Again, I am not sponsored by Cedar. Go to mccedar.com and you will be faced with a screen that looks a bit similar to this, but you'll have a different seed on it. You can mouse over in exactly the same way and you can a lot of the other seed tools to see what the biome is that you're mousing over. This little house here is exactly where you will spawn. It also gives you the coordinates of the spawn area. If you don't like that seed, hit random seed. It will give you a brand new one. This is very different. We've got lots of desert here. We've got badlands, eroded badlands. We've got wooded badlands there and other jungles, etc. This is quite a nice one. It also shows you where the stronghold is in exactly the same way. And you can come down to this structures to show drop down and say, oh, I want to see where villages are. Hit that and it will show you again with a little villager face exactly where the villages are with coordinates. And like other tools, you can change it from overworld to nether to get the different nether biomes, basalt delta, soul sand valley, crimson forest, and the coordinates for those as well. And then also you can look at the end should you wish to. You get the big old bit in the middle of the end and all the different islands that you've got out here. If you come down to select, you see end city and it will tell you if there are any end cities nearby. Of course, there are loads. However, Cedar has got an extra function that I think is absolutely brilliant. And that is this seed finder. Click on that little arrow and you can select the biomes you want, the structures you want, and how far away from you at spawn you want them to be. Now, a word of caution. The more things you ask it to look for, the longer it is gonna take to look for it. And I mean long, sometimes hours if you've asked it for too much. So do be careful with what you ask it for. Ask for three, four, or even five things, that's great. But don't ask for really weird combinations because it could take all day. So what I would like is an eroded badlands, a jungle, and a mangrove swamp. That would be absolutely fabulous. I'd like there to be a village fairly close by. And I'd also like that to be within let's say 750 blocks of where I spawn. I'm gonna click find and it's gonna go and look for that seed. Bang, I didn't ask for too much, so I got what I wanted fairly quickly. We've got a village literally right on top of us at spawn here. We've got a badlands nearby. We've got a mangrove swamp right there. I tell you what, let's go and have a look at this seed. And I spawned in up a mangrove tree and we're surrounded by everything we asked for. Jungle, mangrove swamp, a village, Eroded badlands not far away. Plus, we got some bonuses too. A pillager tower, a shattered savanna, and a great plains area. This works really well. So if ever you want a certain seed, try using one of these methods to get exactly the one you want with exactly the features you need. Let me know what your favorite seed is in the comments below, and I'll look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.